Execute is RPM Global's ultra short term scheduling solution designed specifically for planning at a shift level and out to a month horizon. Execute is an enterprise solution that combines information such as topographical files, aerial images, block models, maintenance events, as well as fleet management and high precision GPS system data and displays it in one enterprise view of the mine. Unlike other planning systems, Execute allows all departments to collaborate with one tool and highlight the effects of changes made to the plan to other departments across the operation. Execute uses a visual interface to display the plan with each coloured activity area representing a different task to be completed. In this plan, a white area represents a guidance activity that's provided from a longer term planning package such as XPAC Solutions. As I hover over each area, you can see that orange represents a blasting activity, yellow is a drilling activity and blue is a loading activity. These can be imported from planning or design packages or we can physically draw them. Let's assume as an example that we have a war stability issue. The planner can quickly draw a new area with a few clicks of the mouse. Our planner is now drawing an exclusion zone to prevent any mining in this area. As you'll see from the tooltip as I hover over the exclusion zone, there's no mining or resources allowed in this activity area. Guidance areas display where we should be working to align with longer term plans. When I click on the area, you can see that it holds unique parameters from the block model. Each of these coloured blocks is unique and represents different qualities. In this case, we're looking at iron grade. I'm going to swap this guidance activity area to a drilling area. You'll notice now that the block model has changed. We're now looking at hardness rather than iron grade. The expression table is also unique to each activity area, so drill specific information is now available to the planner. Using the slice function, I'm going to split this block into smaller, more manageable areas. Now I will have two unique drilling activity areas that I can allocate a resource and schedule to be mined. Now I know where I need to drill, the next step is to import a drill design. I can right click on the drilling area and request a design file. This pushes a request to RPM's enterprise planning framework for the detailed hold design of that particular area. The detailed design would typically be done in a specialist package and when completed would be sent back to the enterprise layer for Execute to utilise. The design is then displayed within Execute for the planners to use when creating a schedule, further improving the accuracy of the plan. I'm now going to introduce the Gantt chart which is integrated with the 3D workspace. With this Gantt chart, each of the coloured bars represents an activity area. For the two drill areas that I just created, I'm now going to assign a resource. From the radial menu, I can select the resources that we want to perform the work. Here I have select drill rigs 1 and 2 which is then populated on the Gantt chart. You can simply drag and drop the resource onto the activity area. We're going to assign both drills 1 and drill 2 to one of the areas that we just created. The Gantt chart is automatically updated with how long it will take the drills to complete the task. I can also assign resources directly from the activity area using the radial menu. Again, I'm going to assign drills 1 and 2 to the second drilling area that we created. The Gantt chart will automatically be updated to reflect how long it will take the drills to complete the task, including any maintenance events or delays that are scheduled. We can then animate the plan to show how the mining sequence will occur and whether there will be any conflict with our plan by visually displaying where each machine will be at any point in time. This short sequence utilised the up-to-date information from several different sources and systems to provide the planner an actual view of what is happening on their mine and how their plan affects other departments across the operation.